Hi everyone, Mint Morris here. Welcome to a monthly lesson series. We're gonna be taking a look at the famous Jimmy Weibel lick that kicks off the solo on the famous Bob Wills tune, Roly Poly. If you want to subscribe to my monthly lesson series, you can do so by clicking the link below. Every month I post things on YouTube. They're not the full length videos, but just parts of them. So in this lesson, you're gonna get half of what I do in my monthly lessons for those who are subscribed. You can uh, check out my other videos as well in the link below that feature other Western Swing lessons that are free and other ones that will lead to courses and transcription packs on my website. So the basic idea in this Jimmy Weibel lick is taking a triad and making it an augmented triad and then re resolving it into whatever chord you're leading into. So if we're working kind of in the realm of country and Western Swing music, this is a lot of one chords to four chords five chords to one chords, and that occasional one to two to five, or maybe a one, six, two, five. Any of these kind of resolving um, chord patterns or you know, uh, five of five chords. So the idea is we're gonna take this G chord, right? And we just have a basic triad, and we're going to embellish it by raising the fifth, and then that sharp five is gonna to resolve to the third of our next chord. So in the case of G, we have G, G, B, D, G, B, D sharp, and then the C chord, G, C, E. Okay, so just a nice, you know. You can just play really pretty things like that, and I would recommend limiting yourself a little bit to kind of get that sound in your ear um, without adding a bunch of extra notes. And try messing around in other um, locations. So in the back half of that solo, I put it up here at this G right here. So I went. Right? That's my fifth, sharp five, solving to the third of the next chord. So. That leads us into then adding the next kind of notes to it, right? So if we have a normal G, take our notes in G, kind of G pentatonic even, you could like one, two, three, and then five and six. Those are kind of like really great sounding notes that's gonna fit well in Western Swing. Um, what we can take here is the five to the third, to the second, to the one, and then just do the same pattern, but do the sharp five. And then, off. So if I'm playing, you know, it's a really pretty sound, and we would just reverse it to come up with more ideas. kind of take that through different areas and you you take that concept right and you play it where all you know in all the different places you can and on all the different five chords or the chords that are resolving whatever you kind of view them as so if I was playing kind of more a little slowly just so you can kind of see it a little better and track with it you know I might So you can kind of hear where I was just dropping that in as much as I can. And it's a great, great practice to do that 
and kind of see where your triads are all over the guitar neck because this is this is the foundation for a lot of this kind of soloing out of chord shapes that I talk a lot about and kind of the way in which a lot of the swinging and bop players, not a lot, 99% of them played. <laughs> um, they use these big common chord shapes, they use the triads, and they just kind of manipulate it and grab notes from around them. That's the real secret to this kind of stuff. So try that out, mess around with it. I'm going to um, encourage you to go listen to guys like Roy Nichols and Red Volkart. Um, two guitarists that played for Merle Haggard, they use this lick all over the place. Um, it's a really great one and they get a lot of mileage out of it. And Red especially kind of incorporates the augmented idea um, even into his chord soloing. Um, and you can kind of hear that in other players like Buddy Charlton on Steel as well as Buddy Emmons. You can hear that there. And then uh, some Roy Nichols uh, records I would recommend to go listen to are um, the live Merle record uh, where they're in Philadelphia playing. He kicks off this tune, Every Fool Has a Rab uh, Rainbow, and the solo using that augmented idea, as well as this um, various um, solos on the instrumental records that Merle's band, the back, his backing band, The Strangers, does. Um, they have a ton of stuff with this kind of augmented lick in. And then basically any Bob Wills record where they're soloing, you're going to hear some kind of iteration of this lick. So that's the idea. Now, the last one I'll show you here 